Hello, everyone. Welcome to Zaxtec. Today, we'll be discussing a crucial aspect of server security, protecting your SSH service with fail 2 ban. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a fundamental tool for remote server management, but it's also a prime target for malicious activity. Fail 2 ban is a powerful tool that helps enhance the security of your SSH service by automatically blocking suspicious IP addresses. Let's dive in. Before we start, let's quickly understand why securing SSH is so important. SSH is a secure way to access and manage your server remotely. However, it's also a common target for brute force attacks, where hackers attempt to gain access by repeatedly trying different username and password combinations. Fail 2 ban is a tool that helps us mitigate this risk. Now, let's get into the practical steps. We'll start by installing fail 2 ban on our server. Open your terminal and type the following commands. Let us update the server first. It is always a good idea to update your server before installing anything. Fail 2 ban is a log parsing application that protects Linux servers from a variety of attacks by monitoring system logs for malicious activity. In the case of SSH, it works by dynamically updating firewall rules to block access from IP addresses that exhibit suspicious behavior, such as multiple failed login attempts. This command will install fail to ban. Next, let's configure fail 2 ban for SSH. The main configuration file is usually located in the etc folder. However, it's recommended to create a local configuration file to avoid issues during updates. Copy the default configuration file. In this file, you'll find various settings that control fail 2 ban's behavior. Look for the section related to SSH and adjust the parameters according to your preference. For example, you can set the maximum retry parameter to define how many failed login attempts trigger a ban. You can also set how long the ban will take place. In our scenario, we've configured it for 3,600 seconds, signifying that within the upcoming hour, any additional requests beyond those directed to the SSH port from this IP address will be subject to blocking. Restart the fail 2 ban service by running this command. This will reload the configuration and activate fail 2 ban with your specified parameters. This command will show you the current status of fail 2 ban. Now let us see if it is working. I will try logging in via SSH several times from my Ubuntu client machine. Let me now try connecting again after these three attempts. As you can see fail 2 ban is working it has blocked my IP address I cannot even connect now. And now back on the server to see IP addresses that are currently blocked run the following command. If, for any reason, you need to unban all IP addresses, you can use the following command. 
To unban one IP address just replace all with the IP address. And there you have it. By installing and configuring fail to ban, you've taken a significant step in securing your SSH service. Regularly monitoring your logs and adjusting fail to ban settings based on your server's activity is crucial for maintaining a robust defense against malicious attacks. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more security-related content. Thanks for watching and stay secure.